Hi, everyone, and thanks for checking out this review. So I thought I would continue with my Child's Play um, franchise series review and ranking. Um, I kind of got delayed a few days because, as you can probably hear in my voice, um, I've been fighting a bad head cold for about the last week or so. But I'm feeling better, and I didn't want to wait too long because there's eight movies in this franchise. And so far, I've only got two of them reviewed up on my channel. Uh, plus, I have the ranking to do at the end of the month, and I want them spread out a little better. So, bear with me with my voice, but I thought I'd go ahead and review the next in the series today. And that, of course, is Child's Play 3 that I have on Blu-ray here. So, so yeah, this is my first time watching Child's Play 3, as it is for most of the movies in this franchise. Um, and I've heard a lot of mixed things about this movie. A lot of people have it ranked at the bottom of their list. Of the eight movies, so I kind of went into it with pretty low expectations, thinking it must not be very good. Um, so again, I'll just go through the setup and the premise of this movie before I get into my spoiler uh, spoiler filled review and uh, thoughts about it. And I'll I'll warn you as I normally do with my reviews when I get into the spoiler uh, filled part of it. So, Child's Play Three is a 1991 American slasher film, obviously the third installment in the Child's Play film series. Um, once again, it's written by Don Mancini and directed this time by Jack Bender. Um, so it's eight years after the, the demise of Chucky from the second movie. Um, the, play, the Play Pals company has recovered from the bad publicity brought about by Chucky's murder spree and resumes manufacturing the good guy dolls. Um, the company restores the abandoned factory where Chucky's mutilated body still remains. If you remember the end of the second movie, that's where he was. That's where he was met the end of his de, his demise. The end of the second movie was the the good guy doll factory. The company restores the abandoned factory, um, starts releasing a new line of good guy dolls. However, the crane inadvertently uh, punctures Chucky's body, which lays which basically lays blood into a vat of plastic. Since the soul of serial killer Charles Lee Rain still inhabits the remains, the mixture causes Chucky to be reborn. Chucky is unwittingly given to play pal CEO Mr. Sullivan, whom he strangles with a yo-yo. Then, then he uses computer records to locate Andy Barkley. So Andy Barkley's now 16 years old. It's eight years after the second movie is mentioned. Um, and of course, Andy Barkley still has trouble adjusting with what's happened to his past, in his past, and has been sent to Kent Military Academy um, after failing to cope in several foster homes. Um, so yeah, basically, he's um, a lot of the movie takes place in this uh, military school academy, um, where, like I said, he's 16 years old now, played by a different actor than that. It's, not Alex Vincent in this movie, because obviously this movie was made less than one year after the second Child's Play, so I think Alex Vincent would only be nine. Um, so they chose a different uh, different performer uh, or different actor, Justin Whalen, who plays Alex Vincent as a 16-year-old in this movie, or plays Andy Barclay, sorry. Um, Brad Dorff, of course, returns as the voice of Chucky, Jeremy uh, Silvers is Ronald Tyler. Um, he's the young boy in this movie. And then uh, Perry Reeves is Kristen De Silva. Um, is sort of a kind of a, a friend slash love interest of, of Andy in this movie. Um, so, yeah, obviously Chucky tracks down Andy at this military academy and then decides instead of going after Andy, he would go after uh, Ronald Tyler, um, this young boy, because he's kind of got a thing for trying to possess young kids, which, again, is what he's trying to do in this movie, to get out of the, the good guy doll body of Chucky and try to try to move his soul into a real-life person, a child again. So, um, so yeah, the movie kind of goes from there, and you can probably guess what happens in you know, Chucky wreaks havoc and uh, and stuff. So now I'll get into my spoiler-filled um, review on this movie. So as I said before, I had pretty low expectations for this movie. Just um, reading the reviews and watching other video reviews of this movie, rankings of this movie, where people uh, had it down quite a bit 
from the rest of the franchise. Now, I've only seen the first three movies so far, so I, I have a hard time after watching this understanding why it's ranked at the bottom of the list. Now, maybe I'll understand after I see the whole series. Um, it is a step down from the first two movies. I do agree with that part of it um, from what I've seen of people's reviews and, and rankings, but Man, the the next five, the next four movies must be awesome for this to be at the bottom because I really enjoyed this movie. I really enjoyed Child's Play three, and I'll just kind of go through my pros um, and cons. Again, this is the if you haven't seen it, turn it, turn this video off now because this is the spoiler filled part. There's going to be spoilers in this review, so I'll give you five seconds. Okay, so here we go. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. It, as I said, it is a step down. It's not as, overall, it's not as well made of a movie as the first two, but that's not really its fault. Um, I still find this a highly entertaining and enjoyable watch. Um, so for the pros of this movie, Brad Dourif is Chucky. I think this is his best one to date. Um, and this is really Chucky's movie in a lot of ways. I felt like the first movie, Chucky was good in it, but it was more about the making of the movie and the the supporting characters and how well they were acted, the suspense. The second movie, pretty much the same. Chucky had a few more one-liners in the second movie. But this is this is really Chucky's movie in a lot of ways. I feel like as the quality of the overall production of the movie went down, Chucky, as Brad Dourif as Chucky, has gone up. It's kind of gone like this. This is about where the second movie is, which a lot, is why a lot of people have the second Child's Play movie as the best, because Chucky's performance, or I should say Brad Dourif's performance as Chucky, along with the special effects, meet the making of the movie, where this one, I feel like the the overall making of the movie goes down a little, but his performance goes up, and he's the best thing of this movie. The one-liners, the charisma... His performance as Chucky is is the best it's been so far in the series. Um, I really enjoy the character in this movie. I think his death at the end of the movie is the best of the first three, anyway. Um, where he gets sliced and diced in this big fan in this amusement park. If you've you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Um, they use a lot of slow mo slow motion sequences in this movie, including his death. The overall third act of this movie is great. Um, at the, with the amusement park setting, the haunted house uh, roller coaster ride or whatever it is setting where he ultimately meets his demise. It's very atmospheric with the skeletons popping out. And I just really enjoyed it. I, I thought it was a great third act. Not as good as the third act in the second movie where they're at the good guy doll factory. But I would put it right behind there. I think it's better than the first, the third act of the first movie. I'll say that. Um, Again, great practical effects in this movie, just like the second movie. Um, better than the first movie, in my opinion. Nothing, no more highlighted, no more is this highlighted than when, when Chucky gets his face sliced off uh, in the third act, towards the end of this movie. Um, I actually like the change of location in this movie. I know a lot of people, that's the problem that they have with it. They don't like the military academy setting. I... I found it as one of the strengths of the movie myself because so many so many horror movie franchises, they just keep rehashing the same setting, the same locations, and sort of the same the same things. And I don't I actually enjoy and like when they change it up and change the locations and uh, take risks, which is what this movie does. And it doesn't always work when movies take risks, but I don't know. I felt it worked well enough in this movie and I enjoyed the setting. I enjoyed the opening sequence with the death of the good guy's CEO. Um, and then the Chucky finding out where Andy is. Um, she has, I'm not going to curse in these videos. As you know, if you've watched my channel, I try to keep the cursing to a minimum. But he has a great line. It's probably the best line of the Chucky franchise. Certainly the first three movies from what I've seen. Basically, don't. Don't F with the Chuck. I, again, I'm not going to say it and curse on my channel because I might have younger viewers. But you know what? If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Very iconic. Um, I thought the deaths were really good and creative once again. Again, with minimal blood and gore in the movie. Um, 
but yeah, overall, man, I mean, this movie's really entertaining. I I really didn't understand. I don't really understand why people harp on this movie or, or sort of give it give it crap. I um, I, I find it to be very entertaining, and it kept me uh, it kept me into it throughout the movie. So, yeah, as far as cons go, as I said, it is a step down from a production standpoint, from an overall movie quality standpoint, from the first two movies. Um, I don't think the cast and the act, and therefore the acting is as strong as it is in the first two movies. Although I will say, J Justin Whalen. The 16-year-old who played Andy Barkley in this movie. He's no Alex Vincent, but I thought he was well enough in the role. Um, I thought I thought he played the character well and that you could tell that, you know, sort of soft spoken and but at the same time was still had that fighting mentality because of what's happened in the first two movies with Chucky, that he wasn't just gonna lay down. Um so he wasn't he wasn't the weakest part of the act. And I think it's more of like the side characters. I would say that that Perry Reeves as Kristen De Silva and Justin Whalen as as Andy Barclay are, I thought they were both fine in their performances. And of course, Brad Dourif's the highlight of the movie is Chucky. I think it's everybody else. It's kind of like, eh, take it or leave it. I mean, they're they're okay, but at best, but not as strong as the first two movies with the overall acting, um, especially of the side characters. Um, uh, there's not as much suspense or scares in this movie. You know, the, the that part has kind of gone down as 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 I said before. As Brad Dourif's performance as Chucky's gone up. As I said, the second movie is where they met in the middle, and that's why you have a really great movie with Child's Play too. Um, this movie I don't think tries to be overly scary, though. I think it's out to entertain you more than anything. And it does a really good job of that, but it's it doesn't have the suspense or the atmosphere that the second movie had, or even the first movie for that matter. And this is more of just a personal thing, but I think they could have stuck with Alex Vincent as Andy being a year later. I mean, even nine year olds, there's military academies for young children. Um, I think, and I think the movie would have been just as good. Would still have that that Alex Vincent storyline as he gets older. Um, as I said, it just doesn't have the same creepy atmosphere as the first two movies. But all that being said, I still really enjoyed this movie. It's very rewatchable. Chucky's very iconic with his one-liners and even his kills yet, as, as as well as him being killed in this movie. And the third act really stands out. So I I liked it, man. I Like I said, I'm going to give this a 7.5. And, and actually, I might go 8 out of 10. But I'll say 7.5 out of 10 on this movie. Just because it's not as scary and atmospheric, but still, really, really solid film. Really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, that's Child's Play Three. That's my thoughts and review on Child's Play Three. Check it out. I would rec highly recommend uh, watching this one. Um, thank you. Um, by the way, this movie that I have doesn't have any special features or anything. It's just the Blu-ray version of the movie, which is fine. Um, but I, I would recommend going out and getting this movie. It's a really good watch, really good slasher film. So thank you for watching my review and putting up with my my the way I sound with ha getting over a cold here. But uh, go ahead and like my – if you like this review, go ahead and like my, uh, my video. Uh, subscribe to my channel to see future Ch Child's Play movie reviews as well as the ranking that I'll have at the end of this month. Um, and comment down below your thoughts about this movie. So yeah, thank you and have a great day. Bye.